Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to clear your media cache, and particularly I'm going to show you how to eliminate a ton of space on your hard drive. A lot of newer users, and actually I mean, I've been using it for a while and I didn't even know this, you're filling up your hard drive space with cache files and, you know, renders and things like that that are not part of your final product. I'm going to help you get rid of that space on your hard drive. I've got Premiere Pro opened up as you can see here. The next step is you want to go to Premiere Pro at the top here, left click on it and find your preferences. Once you find preferences, hover over it and then drop down and go down to Media Cache. Some people call it cache, I call it cache, cache money. Alright guys, it opens you up to Media Cache right here and you're going to see media cache files. Now this is where it's located. You can hit the browse button and open it, but that's not really the point. The point is you can do a few things here. The first one, and maybe the most important, is to delete it. Left click on delete and it's going to allow you to delete unused media cache files. If you do not have a project open, or pardon me, a sequence open, you'll have the ability to delete all media cache files from the system, but because I'm working on something right now, it's not going to delete what I'm working on. So I'm going to left click on OK and you're going to see here that it does a whole bunch of stuff. That's not it though. If you look down a little further, you're also going to see here under Media Cache Management, there is a very good chance that you have do not delete cache files automatically. If this is selected and it's not on one of these other ones, there's a good chance that you have a lot of space on your hard drive being used up by cache files. For me, I'm going to go to automatically, uh, let's try again, automatically delete cache files that are older than 90 days, but I'm going to switch this to 30 days. So anything that's older than 30 days, I'm going to automatically delete it because it's probably not that serious for me. Also, I'm going to also here show you the automatically delete oldest cache files when the cache exceeds this amount. For me, it's set at 46 gigabytes. Now, if you've got an older hard drive or a massive new computer, this might not matter. But for those of you that are using SSDs and maybe some that are not, you know, brand new, 46 gigabytes of a standard SSD drive is a huge amount of space. And it's also probably slowing down your computer if you're getting close to the end. So instead of 46 or whatever yours is, everyone's a little different, I'm going to switch that to 10 gigabytes. So anything older than 10 gigabytes or past 10 gigabytes will be deleted automatically because I don't want my hard drive getting stuffed with all of these cache files. So I'm going to left click on OK. And if you do that, that is going to save you a ton of space, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.